Good when you guys are. Right, last year was off the charts for you, MVP, uh, all kinds of scoring uh, achievements, highs for your career. So how, how do you build on that this year, or what are you trying to? What's your big goal this year? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's nice to be uh, you know get those things, but um, obviously the season didn't end the way we wanted it to, and kind of playoffs is when it matters. So um, definitely looking forward to a new year, and uh, you know so far it looks like a lot of guys made a lot of strides in in the summer and. You know, it's nice to get some time off, but at the same time, you know, looks like a lot of guys took a lot of jumps in their game too, which is, which is good to see. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of a re, you know, hit the refresh button. Um, we got so many new bodies. There's every year, especially in the NHL, there's a lot of new players and, and that. So, uh, just trying to get a feel for guys' tendencies and, and uh, try to get closer as a group. That preseason game last week looks like you clicked with uh, <clears throat> Nazer like immediately in that one of those line or one of those shifts and back end of the first period. I mean, talk to me about the connection you're starting to, to develop with him and what kind of player do you see in him? Yeah, he's really smart. Uh, obviously, really young and coming out of college. Uh, you know what he did at the end of year last year and and uh, you know what he's shown so far this year. It's uh, it's clear that you know all the hype around him. You know, it's uh, it's for good reason and. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to trying to play my game and, and like I said, try to kind of learn his tendencies and even uh, even Slagger too. I love his game and and uh, yeah, it was it was good to kind of get that first game together and, and uh, try to build that chemistry. So uh, so far, we've had a good week of practice and, and looking forward to Saturday. That's something that uh, <clears throat> you'll see gel immediately when you're working with new people on a line. I mean, it looks like with you guys, it it clicked really fast. Is that always the case, or does it take like some time to develop? Um, you know, in other cases. Uh, yeah, it, it depends. Um, I think it was, that's the nice thing about training camp, even, uh, you know, if we weren't necessarily playing together uh, or practicing together with the Blackhawks, uh, I was still trying to watch guys, watch the new guys, try to learn their tendencies. And um, I think most guys, you know, try to do that. And uh, it usually doesn't take long. You know, both those guys are really smart hockey players. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't usually take too long. There's so many young prospects here. Is the expectation still to win immediately, or do you go into this first quarter of the season trying to be patient and, and wait for some of these guys to develop and grow? No, I think you're always trying to win. Um, I think last year we made huge strides, and and trying to it didn't matter what was going up top. You know, we're trying to win. We're trying to you know put the best product on the ice, and and uh, and I think that's that's a huge learning curve that I went through when I was younger. And, uh, some of these guys, uh, you know, us older guys will try to help them with, but, uh, you know, trying to put past games, just leave it behind and just focus on the next one. And, um, you know, both those guys that I'm playing with are college guys, so they might not be used to playing, you know, three, four, five games a week. And it might be a little le learning curve, but, uh, you know, it's, that's why they got, you know, that's why they got older guys and, and uh, a good coaching staff to, to help them kind of navigate that. There's just a lot of excitement around the organization right now, just with all the talent coming in. Is that something that you guys are feeling as players, just a different you know, energy around the teams that trickle down here? I think so, yeah. It's uh, a lot of new faces on, uh, at both levels, and I think that's a good thing. A lot of hungry young guys coming in and um, you know, trying to prove themselves and, and, uh, and at the same time uh, older guys who you know, maybe had success at this level but are still trying to make that jump to the NHL level. And, uh, and, and stick there. Um, so now we got a great, great group of guys and a good mix of young and old, and and uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a special year. You open with Grand Rapids, a team you faced in the playoffs last year. Does that add a little extra juice to opening night? I think so. Yeah, that's always in the back of the mind. Obviously, like I said, it didn't end the year. Uh, it didn't end the way we wanted it to last year. And um, you know, on a personal note, it was a tough way to kind of end, end my year. And so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brett. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.